You mean to tell me you're going to take your own child life because your significant other or your old significant other hurt your feelings? Grow the fuck up. I'm sorry. Grow up. And we need that sometimes. Sometimes I might need somebody to check me. That's why I looked in the room and said, yo, I don't got no yes man, right? Because I don't want to be around him. It just is what it is, bro. And I know it should be more about the, the child, but I just want to talk to the person first. Because bef we create the child. We, we, that child is a creation of us. So if we ain't right, it's no way, it's no way in hell that life of the child going to be right. We got to do what we got to do to get right with ourselves before we even bring somebody else in our life. And that's not even a kid. Before you bring anybody else in your life, hear what I'm saying. Talk not heavy. anybody, not creating another life until you bring anybody in your life. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's cliche for a reason because it, it's true. When it's cliche, it means it's right. It's true. It just is what it is. So I, as cliche as it may sound, bro, I know we ain't perfect, bro. I'm not, listen, I'm not the pot calling the kettle black. That ain't me. I got a lot of wrong with me and I'm working on it for sure. But what I'm telling you is if you don't listen to this, anything else, listen to this, bro, for real. Fellas, I know that hurt, man. You put, you invest so much into a woman. You do so much for her. You love her unconditionally. I know it hurt, bro. Especially when she step out on you and you've been the best man that you could. I know it hurt. But if you ain't right with you, you ain't never going to be right with nobody else. We started. We All right, man. You got. You might have to talk. Up. I got my. Hey, I got my engineer in here. Kyron is here. I got my guy King in here. Ooh. Uh, I, hey, I can't hear King, man. Come on, man. Come on, let's let's get it right. Uh, oh, all right, okay, okay. Hey, so look, this is what we gonna do. We are gonna get started like this. Before I, before I, before I get started, I'm playing my vibes. Everybody be like, Jake, what you be listening to? This is what I listen to. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know I interview a lot of people on my platform. I be getting a lot of um unpopular opinions. I be giving the unpopular opinions because I'm not scared of nobody. I said it. I think Beyonce is one of the greatest artists ever. Ever. Beyonce, I said, yeah, yeah. If I had to choose between Beyonce and Chris Brown, I'm going Beyonce. I said it. Yes, I said it. Beyonce? I said it. I wish I had some air horns or whatever. I said it. If I had to choose between Beyonce and Chris Brown, I'm going with Beyonce every single time. Chris Brown is really good. He's super talented. If I had a chance to interview him, I would love love to interview him. He might see this and be like, I would never interview with you. And I understand. I'm killing myself before I even get lit. And I don't care because I'm tired. Damn. Stressed. I'm tired. I'm tired. I just want to have fun. I feel like so many times we get caught up in this box of just living to make everybody happy. And doing what's right and the political things and all of that. I'm tired of doing it. I don't care no more. I don't care. I don't care no more. I um Kyron, what you saying? You said time out? What's wrong? He can't hear you can't hear him. Oh no, no, no. We we hey let me let me rock. I got you. 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 My guy King is in the building. No, no, no. He could, I, I can hear you. My guy is in the building. Listen, so like I was saying, so so many times as entrepreneurs, as um I don't know the words, career goers, I don't care. It's like we living in a circle of making everybody else happy. And oh my God, I am tired of making everybody else happy. So if I gotta do this and cancel myself, so be it, fuck it. I'm not scared of y'all. I say that over and over and again, and I've been proving it too. I've been viral on the other side of the, uh, the other side of the content a couple times now where niggas is killing me. I've been proving it. I kinda been I've been I've been holding it down. I ain't been saying nothing. Niggas been killing me. I ain't been crying. Mm. I lead the content up. I let it go. I think I've been doing a good job with that. Um mm. but you know, I told y'all we're gonna do this every Friday. I'm dropping um I'm gonna be talking about what's going on, uh, social media, things that went viral. I just interviewed young Jock We ain't dropping yet. I seen something that's on the shade room going crazy right now. Um I don't want to say her name wrong. Can you help me out? I don't want to say her name. I just talked to her in a DM, so shout out to her. This is somebody I got love for. She said she was going to come guest host on the show with me. Um, it's, uh, I don't want to say Megan Jones. I, I, I don't want to mess it up. Charge it to my um, 
my brain and not my heart. Charge it to my brain and not my heart. I just DM'd her. Which one is it? It's um, nah, you ain't gonna find it on the shade room because oh, they be posting like a hundred. Yeah, Megan James. It's Megan James, it, and we saying it right because it's like M A G H A N, right? It's M E H G A N. M E H G A N. So it's Megan James. Yeah. You sure? That's what I'm seeing. Uh, okay. Court in the shade room. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yo. Um. So shout out to her. She just did this interview with Jock. The first question was, Yo, how was you able to? Sustained for so long with one hit, nigga said. That's what? crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Say that again. So she asked her. She was like, "Yo, how was you able to sustain your career so long with just one hit?" I'm like, "Damn." Oh, you ain't seen it. Jock, nah. Jock got hits. Play it out loud, right quick, bro. Yeah, you let's got see, it? let's see. Yo, Jock. Yeah, yeah, sh- shout out to Young Jock. He nah. just pulled up. Yeah, we had she, a good conversation. She a little misinformed. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, um. How was you able to sustain, sustain your career so long with just one hit? I think he, he even might have an essential album, right? I know he answered it. I mean, of course we of course we know this. Of course we know this. Of course we know this. <laughs> that's just two. That's just two. She said one though. But I mean it's so it's, it's a couple. It's a couple. It's shout a couple though. It's like shout, five. Shout out to Megan James though, man. She um I feel like anytime what people don't understand is when you doing these interviews and content, the the purpose of doing content is to create a moment, and mm. I think she did create a moment. I just went viral with uh, Zanique, and everybody was like, "They need to, they need to hang up these guys. They need to cancel guys with podcasts or whatever like that. Cancel the mics, throw the mics away, and things like that." And it's like, I get that. I'm not mad at that because like that's the that's what that's what I wanted. I wanted the attention. You feel me? It was I got that moment that I wanted, but I did all of my research, so I'm not even going to judge Megan James because she might have done her research and she might have just did that to create a moment. And if you did, again. I don't have the um, the audio sound effects, but round of applause for you. You know what I'm saying? Round of applause for you because you created the moment. I didn't watch the whole thing. Now, if you didn't, I mean, shout out to you still because you still created a moment. And what happens is people talk about integrity, and I can talk about integrity because I feel like I move with integrity on my show. But what people don't understand is integrity ain't getting you no money because y'all people swear – they want to hear positive things, and that ain't true. Because if you want to hear positive things, it will, I, I mean, I talk about positive shit all the time. I mean, you would listen every day. But no, what happens is, and I think, shout out to Lil Mo, I did an interview with Lil Mo, and she was like, people love positive things. She And she she was talking about a preacher with a mega church. And she was like, look at how many people come to their church. I said, yeah, you're right. But they're popular. They, work, they, they worked hard to get that audience. But guess what? The same amount of people that come to his church, if he did some fuck shit, Imagine how many people would then tune into what he got going on because they want to see. They want to see him fall. That's just the truth of it. I, I'm I'm not being a pessimistic. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being real. I think I'm being real. So what happened is, yeah, you got a, 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 a pastor with a mega church. He worked hard to get that mega church. But what happened is, the moment he does something that we think is that we deem is wrong, millions more people is, is going to going to check out his platform. That's the same with this content. So it's like. On one side, yeah, of course, like I um I'm a, I'm gonna keep moving with integrity because integrity, that's just the type of person I am. But I will be a fool to under I will be a fool to dismiss how much power, how much negativity hold power, how much power negativity hold. I feel like it's a shame, but that's just the way of life. Think about it. When we see people gossiping, that's the things that make the headlines. When think of fresh and fit. Let's have a conversation. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. Fresh and Fit um, went viral not too long ago about uh, not liking black women. <laughs> Everybody said they was going to cancel these guys. But only thing they did was add fuel to the fire. Because Thanks. when they said they was going to cancel him, what did canceling him associate with? A post? Yep. They posted him saying, oh, these guys are crazy. So now for the people who didn't understand, for the people who didn't know who they were, they, now they know who they are now. Oh, these guys. And guess what? My mom's, I'm an old soul, y'all, so please just bear with me. I'm an old soul. My mom's always told me, well, make you laugh, make you cry. Mm. And uh, another thing is, the same reason they love you be the same reason they hate you, Fact. right? So think about it like this. As as good as the internet is to us, as fortunate as as, as we are to have the internet, to make our money from it, to, to be able to create businesses from the internet, is a, is a lot of negative shit that come with it, too, let me tell you. We got a voice, right? My voice can be heard, but guess who else got a voice? A fuck nigga. Guess who else got a voice? 
a rapist. Guess yeah. who else got a voice? A pedophile. Yeah. And guess what? It's people out there who agree with these rapists, pedophiles, and, and terrible people. So just as much as I have a platform, that's why I got to be careful with the things I speak, right? No matter the audience, no matter what can go viral, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. I do care, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to make it work. I say that to say just as much as I got a platform, I got to understand that it's another side of that that has a platform too. So when we post these people saying, I don't, we got to be careful when we post and say we don't like because you might post it and say you don't like it, but it's somebody on the other end of the phone who do like it. Mm. So when we, we talk about being, we talk about council culture, that shit don't exist because as long as somebody pick up the phone and be like, yo, these niggas weird. Somebody is looking like, oh shit, I really like that. Mm. It just is what it is. So I feel like everybody, back to my point, everybody talking about positive things and like and shit like that and, and, and drop the mic, shut the fuck up. Because if you ain't see what you didn't like on your screen, you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have an opinion. And and you having an opinion is helping my pop my, my platform grow. It just is what it is. I feel like I think I understand that and I and sometimes I play in the hand of it knowing that it just is what it is. People are, I feel like, just people who don't like what they like, and I understand that, so I play to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. So <clears throat> I just said it like five times, but whatever. I, um, I think we just got to continue to create these moments. Don't worry about Megan James. Continue to create your moments. Don't worry about what people got to say, because if they, if they ain't had to say nothing, then you wouldn't be relevant. It is what it is. You're relevant because of what people got to say. So I tell people all the time, when I post something, bro, say what you want. And I mean that, friends, foe, whatever, because it's, it's, it's public information for you to have an opinion. And if you didn't have an opinion, then that means it's not good. So the fact that you care about something enough to comment negative or positive, that means you care. So I ain't mad about it. It just is what it is. I got some notes. This is my first time doing this. I told you I was nervous. I, I did not. <clears throat> bro, niggas keep saying, yo, Jay, you got to like just do it by yourself. Just do it by yourself. I'm like, bro, man, this shit. Do it by myself. Shit is weird, but whatever. Um, shout out to my guy. As a matter of fact, hey, you got it, bro. You got that. Thanks, brother. Yeah, See, you got a friend. You got that. Yo, shout out to men supporting men, man. Yeah, you got that. Man. I feel like we really be trying to like. <laughs> what's the word? I'm so terrible. That's that's why I need people here because I, I well, I'll go to the dictionary first. It's not demasculate, but what is it called? Emasculate. Emas emasculate. Em emasculate. Emasculate yeah. each other. Yeah. I feel like, bro. It's okay for a nigga to say he love his niggas, man. Yeah. Like it's okay for, bro. I seen the picture of um Michael B. Jordan and um what's the strong nigga name? I I, I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. I know about. exactly what you're talking about. He, he was in Creed. Come on, yeah, man. I know who he is. Let me, let me pull I just it up, don't man. know his name. Cause we ain't gonna we ain't gonna slaughter his man. You right. Uh, Creed three. And shout out to his acting too, bro. Is phenomenal. Yeah. I already got voted the sexiest man on earth or some shit like that. Probably in the U.S. this year. Probably. I ain't gonna lie to you, no. Listen, I ain't hating. Y'all know me. I'm I'm cool. If I'm hating, I'm hating. But I ain't hating. I feel like for real, for real, if he got voted the sexiest man alive, I feel like I can get voted the sexiest man alive. I'm just saying. I do too, myself. I'm just saying. I just feel like you feel me like now when, when no cap, like when I seen like Idris Alba or something, or like uh Dabson Idris, I like I'd be like, okay, yeah. they, they some nice looking young men. You feel me? Nah, right, right. But uh, the other guy, when I when I seen he got I'm like, I can <laughs> I can win sexiest man alive. You know, I'm just like, no I mean, cap. Yeah, like, like you gotta know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I told you I'm just the realest man. I'm but not, I think it's his body composition, like his the structure, the strong homo. Like shit. the nigga physique is like action figure esque. But I mean, the rock is strong as shit. Has he ever won sexiest man alive? Nah. Nah. Yeah, I feel like. But he came out of nowhere too. I think it's. Oh, it way. wasn't him. I'm sorry. It wasn't I'm, him. It was Michael B. Jordan. All oh, right. Wasn't it about Michael B. Jordan that, that Michael won B. Sexy has man? won before though. I feel like even Michael B. Jordan. Though. Yeah. Like, like I feel like this sounds gay as shit, but <laughs> I just feel like I feel like if Michael B. Jordan get one, I can win, bro. And, I can and win. the nigga that just won, I feel like if they can win, I, like you feel me, like right. I mean, I'm you all, saying. we all, I think as men, we all do that. Amongst yeah, each man, other, like saying. it's like hey, Jonathan Majors. Okay, that's his name. Shout yes. out to bro. Yeah, shout out to shout you. out to shout out to the man. Um, he bringing back masculinity to yeah, Hollywood, so seen, especially for black actors. I I'm seen sorry. a picture of Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan hugging, hugging, and mad people had something to say. But I seen that. Yeah, I just be like, bro, like man, ain't not, like I feel like niggas that got something to say, say about this quote unquote gay shit be low key gay. I'm not gonna lie, my first and I had why to you catch so myself. offended. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why I say I feel like my bad. <laughs> no, niggas right. that have niggas that be saying even about gay people, 
if you're saying something about gay people and different, I don't care. If if it makes you uncomfortable, I feel like I I ain't gonna go far saying you're gay. I just feel like you got some inner work to do because nothing about nobody like else that. makes me uncomfortable. I like that. Inner now work. what I, I like will that. say is I'm gonna keep it on it. Now I do have some opinions on some things. Now mm -hmm. if you're down low, I do feel uncomfortable with that because it's like, bro, like at that point, be a man. Like honestly, let's take gay out of it, right? Damn, they gonna cancel me already. But bro, let's take cancel. Let's cancel. cancel. <laughs> let's take. Let's take. Let's take gay out of it though, right? If you're a timid man, right? Mm -hmm. Or I want to be careful because I do want to. It's not about the people. Forget the people. I just want to be careful my words because it's just the right thing to do. Right. If you're someone who doesn't speak up for yourself, okay, I feel like you should speak up for yourself. Mm -hmm. So the same, same, and I and I understand why some people don't. There's a lot of things that go into it, right? So I'm an understandable person. But at the same time, that's how I feel about down low men. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're down low, you should speak up for yourself to mm -hmm. to be proud in which to to walk in which who you are. Right. And I and I I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to be gay, stand up, nigga. Stand up. I mean, yeah, at that point. You feel me? Like, if you want to be gay, stand up. It just is what it is. But anyway, back to the um, Jonathan Majors and uh, and uh, Michael B. Jordan. I feel like it was a dope picture, and I feel like we need to see more of that. You feel yeah. me? Like, I tell my homies I love them all the time. Facts. Bro, I love you, for real. Like, thank you. Like, like it just is what it is. I feel like if you can't express your feelings, then you should go get some help to see why, can't you? Because that's a real thing. Right. Like I, I don't want to just just down people for not expressing their feelings because we never know what somebody going through. That's just some real shit. Yeah. I'm not trying. I'm so I just want to let y'all know this. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm scared because like naturally I am like an uplifting person. So like I know I'm trying to be entertaining, but naturally I just don't go down the same path as everybody else. Like I know a lot of people be having like people be entertaining as fuck. They got every they got a lot to say about every everybody. That ain't really me. You feel me? So I might you might hear me say some things and like kind of. Backtrack a little bit Because I'm like Bro nah that ain't You feel me Like I'm gonna check myself Like a lot of niggas Just be having no filter Because They don't know how I look in the mirror Me I look in the mirror If I say something I'm like oh Let me, let me hold on nah. mm -hmm. wanna... Y'all getting real J Hill right yeah, now Yeah yeah like, just, just, You feel me So whatever Um, okay. But yeah shout out to them man <laughs> okay. Alright Let's go to I had some So shout out to Alex He had sent me some A list of popular things Okay Um, I seen of course, first thing on the list was Takashi Six Nine. I don't think I care about that. You don't care? I don't know. Do y'all care? I don't. I don't think I do. To be honest, no. <laughs> I just feel like he got karma is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and just if I could say anything, even with my stances, trying my best to be more empathetic towards people, mm -hmm. is thank God they didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. I think with Takashi, man. Man, I think it's like you, like you said, karma is like you asking for it. Begging. Right. So yeah. it's like, I mean, when that happens, you just got to take what come with it. You feel <laughs> me? And honestly, I'll tell you, I do got an opinion. Okay. Depending on how Takashi the 6 9 come back, it's depending how I'm going to feel about this. Now, if he comes back and be like, you know what? I had it coming. Cool. But if he come back with all this tough gangster shit, like, nigga, you just got your ass whooped. Jump the knot. You got your ass whooped. I mean. Yeah, he might as well not even take that, yeah, that but avenue. You know that's how he rocking. But think about it like this. If if Takashi 6 9 he got his ass whooped, right? It was it was a thing about niggas being stupid for not having security. Nigga, you got caught lacking, so now you're stupid. It just is what it is. So, like, I don't want to hear none of that. that jump shit. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear none of that. And he ain't beat up not one. You feel me? Like, so... But what I will say is like the Takashi Six Nine. I just saw him it. on his back. Because he's a a person, it was unfortunate. Like yeah. I um I never want to see nobody go through them things. But like sometimes you are asking for it, buddy. So what's your what's your if you could give you know what I mean in this moment a word of wisdom to anybody that's listening and that, like what do you tell a Takashi Six Nine? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's not I a mean, quick little word. Nothing. I mean, bro, you reap what you sow. There we go. You, That's you, all I need. Like, don't bite off more than you can chew. And if you do, you got to take what come with it. It just is what it is. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we <laughs> grown minute at this moment. This yeah. ain't like John Morant. You feel me? John Morant's situation was a little different. You feel me? Like, I know I just did that <laughs> unprovoked. Like, <laughs> yeah. damn, like, how you catch a, a <laughs> <Whoa>. string? <laughs> yeah. like, like, nah, so like, John Morant. We love you, John. I feel like it was different because 
I Shout think a lot of things come with that. Dude is young. Yeah. Um, dude is rich. Yeah, he's making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So, of course, at that point, when you're making a lot of money, you become the breadwinner. And most times in a black culture, um, I'm pretty sure you guys hear this. Oh, I'm not going to keep regurgitating shit. But a lot of times when you when they become the breadwinner in a black family, you become the guy who call the shots. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And no matter the age. Yeah, so what happens at that point is the noose starting to loosen up. Mm-hmm. Right? So the hands starting to, the grip starting to tight, loosen up. Yeah. And they start to let go a little bit. But that's when you're supposed to squeeze a little bit tighter. Mm. Because, bro, I ain't never had nothing. Boy, let me be rich at 21, 23. Okay. You're going to know it. Okay. And I think he just really just trying to make his presence felt. And that doesn't make it an, a, an excuse or anything like that. I just think I can be more empathetic to a situation like that mm -hmm. than a situation like 6 9 Why? Because 6 9 has had multiple people try to counsel him. Yeah. 6 9 has had multiple people try to reach out to him, tell him that's not the right thing to do. Yeah. He continues to make this decision. So at that point, it's either what he wants to do or it's insanity. Okay. Keep doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting a different and result. Either one, I just can't be cool with. You feel me? John Morant has made a few mistakes, but this is still in the course of what a year or two, maybe. You feel me? So it's like a couple months. Yeah, couple, you feel yeah. me? A couple months. So it's yeah. like he has room in my heart for me to be empathetic. Now, if he does the same thing next year, right? I'm gonna start to fall back a little bit more. I, yes, this, sir. Go ahead. All right, we're good. Yes, this nigga, like, I don't care. First things, I do, but I'm let me get a little rundown of exactly what was going on with Ja Morant, though. Okay, what you know? Yeah, yeah. So Ja, um, he's had three, I believe, three. Correct me if I'm wrong, but three instances where uh, two guns were involved. Um, one was a situation where he was fighting a teenager, or whatever the case was. The teenager said, I'm come back, shoot up the spot. Ja proceeded to come out. He went to his crib mm -hmm. or whatever he had to do to come back, proceeds to show the gun on the waist. All right, that's strike one. That that person or somebody reported that to, to, to get him to be in the wrong. Right. right. He was already under investigation, okay, with the NBA. All right, there was another situation in which he was at the club, <clears throat> And an away game. So after the away game, you know, they had to lay over time to chill. Okay. He's at the strip club, you know, seen that patronizing, one. you know what I'm saying, the, the establishment as he should. You right. Know what I'm and I'm trying to figure out what's the what, what was the big deal in the that one. The problem was in his Instagram, either live you or You said story. what was the big deal about him pulling a strap out? No, on Instagram he, live? No, nah, no, nah, being at the, the strip club. At the, yeah, at the club. The issue was he had the gun. Please, again, feel free to no, jump no, in no. and explain it. He had the gun and he was wiggling, like shaking the gun, like to show, like, "Hi, I got my stick on me." But that's that. But the issue is, is because the first incident had something to do with your gun. Mm -hmm. uh. Now you're showing said gun, like, "Ha ha!" While still under investigation for the initial situation. Uh. Yeah. I think it's not smart, but again, not smart. Not I can smart. be, I can empathize with that. Okay, I'm it's not like ready to just opinion. write them off. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm saying. I get that. Yeah, yeah. So like. But some people, a lot of people's hard on him, and I think you need that too, though. I think people are more hard on him because his father is not absent. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't mean that he's present. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it just means we expect more from you because the excuse that daddy is not there is not. It's not a visual I feel like representation. We should, we should feel more towards his father then, not him, because his father. Isn't absent, so you need to be stepping up. But Ja is the star. Ja is Ja is the face. Ja is the representative. That's a great segue to what I want to talk about. Awesome. <clears throat> I'm here for it. Too many times in our culture, in our community, that I feel like he's the face or he can make the 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 the, the he's the shot caller because he makes the money. Yeah. And that shit is corny. That's wrong. So that's not for me, that's less about him and more about his, who's in his corner. Let's not even put no names to it. No, of course. That's about more, it's, it's less about him and more about who's in his corner because if you think because he has money that you can't say nothing to him, that says more about you than him. It does. Right? So it's like, yo, I'm not trying to, I don't give, I'm not trying, I will give him a pass before I give his pops a pass, in my opinion. I'm with you. Because it's like, bro, if you see your son continuing to go down the wrong path, nigga, say something, step up, stand up. Based off, based on poor leadership. Yeah. So, and, and like it's crazy because shout out to my guy Hustle Man Fats, man. I'm a um, 
going to give him some credit right now, man. So Hustle Man Fats got a um a clip that's going around. And it's peasy talking about um teachers not I'ma just play it. Yeah, yeah, they might come holler at me. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> not turn your back on him though. Do you think that some of the things that he said? I don't is care wrong? what he said. No, bro. no, I'm not saying like I don't that think you're wrong on anything. No. That's kinda that's kinda tough. Because if my me. If, if my brother is wrong, right, even even if I'm rock with him, right or wrong. I don't care, bro. When we get to the crib, I'm telling you wrong. I'll tell him later. But yeah. he, he got way more money than me. You know what I don't know. He ain't folded yet, bro. He ain't turned out to be no lame. Like, he going through shit. He, yeah, he might be off a little bit. But you don't turn your back on your brother. You got crackheads in your family. You got people that might be gay in your family. You got people that, b niggas that can't stay out of jail. You don't turn your back on them. And they dumb as shit. And they broke as shit. I'm not going to turn my back on the leader. On one of our only leaders that's successful. No, I can't do that. I feel what you're saying. I just will always say, like, bro, I, this I want I rock with this, but I fuck with you. But this right here, what you said right here, I didn't rock with what you said right here. That don't mean I don't fuck with you as a person. It's just that you one. Like I won't, I won't you don't do like the public, White Lives bro. Matter shirts? They do. Shit, White Lives Matter. Every life, every life matters. You ain't like the shirt? Not really. Just being honest with Why you. Why do black lives matter only when black people, when something happens to black people? I think black Why lives, they don't matter every day? That's a great question. I think black lives matter across the board. When, though? Every day. Why are we dying at a rapid pace then if our lives matter? Systematic. Dumbomatic. Fuck is you talking about, man? These niggas is dumb and on drugs out here, man. They don't want to be better. They don't want to do better. Yeah, is teaching financial freedom how to live and be rich for the rest of your life. But I'm this, not listening to no nigga riding around with no gun that ain't got more money than me. But this is when I tie back to I don't care if we don't, we white don't, lives matter. They we, do matter. So that's all I'm saying. So I feel like a lot of times we tie getting advice to money. Bro, you can learn something from anybody. So when I'm thinking about this John Morant shit, it's frustrating because that's the first thing I hear. Like, it's like, bro, I'm not listening to nobody riding around with guns that don't got more money than me, right? That's the second thing he said. The first thing was, bro, no, I'm not cutting him off because he, he makes money. So I think in that message, he said a lot of great things, though, right? So I don't want to just cut the whole message off. But in the message, he said a lot of great things. My point was to tie back to the John Morant thing is we always associate and Getting it solid advice with somebody who got more money than us. Like, I can't take advice from somebody who don't have more money than me. That don't make no sense. You can learn so much in that. Like, you can learn, you can learn so much about the dark. Uh, you can learn so much about the light in the darkness. You can learn so much about um positive situations in a negative environment. It's so much you can learn from the opposite of things. And a lot of times, because it don't look like what we wanted it to look like, we dismiss it. So going back to John Morant, it's like it might go. It, it, he might think like that too. I don't know, right? But a lot of times when they say, "When I get on, I get money," I don't change to be the people around me. So I don't know. Again, me not knowing, I'm just thinking, if you are the father and you're not saying nothing because whatever it is, I feel like that's an excuse and that's lame. Now, if you are saying something and your son is not listening to you because you are not the breadwinner, that's a different story and that's some character things that we need to check out. That that segment that you just said, and I'm going to, you know, hurry this up. That segment that you just said made me respect you as a man 100% more. Because that right there is a huge issue that I agree with you 100%. I think the biggest issue that I had with, that was Peasy. Yeah. Shout out to Peasy. Look forward to speaking to you. My biggest problem with that is, is, so you mean to tell me that you're not going to help your brother by giving him advice because you associate the fact that he can generate money mm. with common sense or mm. or being you know what I'm saying aware of what's going on like money does not annul you of life yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying right. so I agree with you 100% I think in this situation that we were talking about with Ja as real men in here we can understand where the source is because we understand he is a father right. and it's clear that and please correct me if I'm wrong I have yet to hear his father make a statement mm. has he made a statement publicly I don't know not that I've seen I'm not sure though. that would have been up I know we would all knew that because because well, I know, think he, he might have said something um the fact that we have to ask is a problem you know what I mean because at the end of the day if you don't want this representation and all of the sacrifices you made to keep your son from being raised in an environment where daddy is not around, you should feel insulted. 
You know what I'm saying? To the point where now he has his actions, has the media questioning his actual upbringing as if you didn't do what you said you was doing. You know what right. I mean? Just because, oh, my son makes some money now, I'm going to back up. And just because they he brought that first mansion. See, that's another thing, too, about flexing. Mm. They got, you know, Ja has this little, uh, the vlogs and the content where we find out that Ja brought that first big mansion. That was his first. He moved them in and got another one down the street. Down the street. You know right. what I'm saying? So now it's like, well, damn. Nigga that housed me, got me a rain, you know, Rafe. I, I can't say nothing to the young boy now because he. No, that is blasphemous. Yeah, I'm gonna call. Nah, I'm, a, I'm gonna call my guy Alex, Alexander the Blanc. Shout out to my guy Alex. Everybody, if you've been following me for a while, you know, he's um he was a producer on the Gemini Scorpio podcast. He's always been um producing for me. This is my guy. He was pr producing for my first uh radio show at WEAA at hey, Water State. Shout out so, to Alex. Alex. Yo, yo, bro. We, so we were talking about um, Job and Rant, and what we were talking about was basically how his father didn't step up and say anything. Um, I think I didn't want to speak out of turn. I think his father did something, say something. I sent you, sent you an article. Did you recognize that? Uh, I believe he did speak up. What, um, did, what did he say? You remember? Uh, I don't don't quote me on this, but I believe that he basically was saying that they're going to handle it internally, but. Um, that was about it. Didn't get too many words outside of that. Mm. Uh, but he also spoke about briefly that Ja went to a good school. Like he confirmed that he was just like Ja went to a good school. He did hang around people that were in, involved in what quote unquote hood culture or something in that capacity. But uh, but he was basically saying they sent him to a, a because of the environment that he was in. He saw it, but he was never he never participated in that lifestyle. So what we see is happening is not who he is, essentially. So he didn't, essentially, he didn't take no ownership of it, basically. For the father? Like yeah. him? Yeah. So? yeah. Not from what I gather. Now, I yeah. might be wrong. I may not have seen it, and he may have said something in that capacity, but I haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I feel like as men, how I was raised, they did. even if you ain't do nothing, like, I'm thinking, if, if, if it's me, right, mm -hmm. it's easy to say what you would do. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, just just shooting the shits right now. If it's me and that's my son, I'm like, yo, you know what? I got to do a better job as a pops. You feel me? I'm I haven't agreeing. been setting the right example for my son, even if I am setting a good example, right? And if I am setting a good example, somewhere down the line, I might have turned my back when I shouldn't have, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get on that right now. Because okay. I see that this right now is not only impacting him, but it's in impacting us and his family. Mm -hmm. And I don't want him to lose the opportunity because of something that... I wasn't able to do when I had the chance to. Mm -hmm. That's all, like, you feel me? Like, I feel like, bro, what happened to ac accountability? And, and, and granted, I don't, I don't want to say it like it's all his fault. You know what I'm saying? But as I don't know, like if if I'm in my son's life, that's how I'm looking at. It. I don't know. Maybe I might be tripping. I don't know. I will say, I will say that it could be as simple as this, son. Because you got to remember too, bro. Like, and I and and I was just thinking about this when we deal with celebrities and people who come. You know what I mean? Who get this money and stuff like that. Those conversations weren't had at the bottom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why right. they always say you ain't supposed to just, you know, when I hear people say, oh, yo, we, we didn't plan for it to be like this. It just turned into that. Mm. You're supposed to prepare. You know That's what I mean? Fact. But if you don't have foresight because you really don't know where it's going to go, you can't say, hey, you know, this how I need you to conduct yourself because he ain't never made that kind of money before. Right. He didn't make it play basketball. You know what I'm saying? And let's be honest. Rappers want to be ball players. Ball players want to be rappers. And it just so happens that gangster rap is the most influential sector okay. in that sports area. So he did say something. Alex, can you um could you uh read that to us? So um I'm looking around trying to verify whether or not this is him, but according to a post that was posted on Twitter, uh T Morant said, We all fall short of perfection. Does it hurt? Yes. Am I embarrassed a little bit? Why? Because as a parent, you always want your kid to be the perfect child. I love that kid to death and will die for him to live. I refuse to make an excuse for his actions, but I do know in this thing called life, we all will have war wounds and battle scars. Mm -hmm. But before you cru crucify the next man, ask yourself, how perfect am I living? Because my son is in the spotlight, so everything he does is magnified. Just my thoughts. We'll be back and better. 
Big 12. Uh, yeah. It's no accountability. It's like I still, I like it, but it still ain't enough. Ain't no Maybe nothing is good. It's, no, it's never good enough. But it's like, he still ain't say nothing about him. He ain't going to. And am it, I am I am I asking for too much? No, no. Uh, I'm just curious. I just want to no. know. Like y'all it's, not just saying that, right? I don't I'm a yes father. Man. No. All right, all right, just making sure. You know what I'm saying? No, Alex. I think you got good men. <laughs> all right, just making sure. I'm just making sure. Nah, Smart you know, I don't men. Want the people to say they just. Like, Alex, what you think? You in the right house, bro? I mean, it's a slippery slope. Uh, I think uh, it's as a father, you do have to stand up, and and um, he's at every game. You know, like Team Morant, somebody, even tonight, like he wore a shirt that said redemption at the Grizzlies game that uh, Ja, uh, for for the Ja's return tonight, you know. So, I mean, he has shown that he is a supporter of his career from the beginning. I mean, Ja's story is something that is very unique in the sense of he went to a Murray State. It's not like he went to one of those big colleges. So him even being the number two pick in the draft, he's been – somebody that has excelled athletically. So we know what he can do on the court. Mm. I think at the end of the day, it's just a matter of um, a lot of, and I guess this is a conversation is, are you supposed to be friends with your kids? And I think something that we've seen in modern days because of the parenting style that we were accustomed to is that a lot of younger parents are genuinely friends with their, with their kids. And it's just like, can you serve the role as a friend and a parent or do you, can you only be one thing? Like, is it just one dimension? Like, you are just that parent. And um, I think with T. Morant, because of the love for the success and the ability of what his son has been able to provide, like, we saw it. Like, he bought a mansion next to his mansion. You know, you know like, he put his family on and has been providing for his family at the tender age of 23. You know what I mean? And mm. I signed that $200 million check is – do you continue to cultivate that stature of father? I'm not saying that he, he can be ever be displaced from that or, uh, but do you, do you potentially sacrifice that by being your child's friend? And mm. I think that's where T Morant is right now. is just caught in the role of his father who has gotten him this far by, I mean, bro, we, we're not going to forget that he was the one that was putting him in those camps, putting him, you know, so he's invested in his son's life, but now it's just a matter of, do you sacrifice that potentially by being and too friendly not to, with your child? Not to cut you off, but like sacrifice what? That's your child. The first thing I think about is the clip we just played. Is it the money? Do you sacrifice losing the money because you want to discipline your child? Like, get the fuck out of here. It's like, or do I risk, like, am I risking saving my child from getting indicted, from getting locked up, man, from getting just, associated oh. with murders? Like, these, like the, the, the things he's being accused of, even though it's not him directly, his team is pointing lasers from guns at people. This you know what I'm saying? Game. Like, and he is the big fish. So in that case, that is a straight son. Let me holler at you real quick. Mm. What we not doing? Cause that didn't get you to that didn't get you to check. Right. We ain't finna fumble this. <laughs> you shooting the ball got you to check. Facts. Not you, know you shooting saying? some thick ass guns. You ain't even or, built like right. that. Man, I <sighs> wouldn't out of Alex. I appreciate Wolf you, dog. <laughs> Hey Alex. Yeah. <laughs> man. Respect me. I appreciate you, dog. Appreciate uh, you, brother. Sure, sure. Sorry. I'm gonna holler at you, man. That, that, that yeah, these guy. niggas Dang is crazy, man. man. Timestamp, camera, what we got? We are at 47 minutes into it. That's dope. It's not bad. I ain't gonna keep y'all here too long. Um, I seen something, and we, we can end on this. I seen something on Instagram just not too long ago. Um. I gotta breathe with it, man, cause it was uh, oh, wow, it was quite, it was quite the sight to see and to hear, because it's just unfortunate. Let me go to my save post real quick, and I'm gonna play it for you guys. It's like the world just get crazier by the damn day, bro. <laughs> This is how Kirsten Watson wants to remember her two-year-old's happy and loving daughter, Zavea, haunted by her last moments alive on a FaceTime. She was on his lap and she was gasping for air. And as she was gasping for air, he just had his arm around her neck, just squeezing tighter. He was like, this is what you made me do. 
all you care about is that man and I'm telling him no stop please this is your daughter she loves you but he's still doing it. DeAndre Flanagan is charged with murder. Court records say he struck his daughter with and against a blunt object and choked her applying pressure to her neck and throat. The 25 year old picked his daughter up from a daycare on Monday before leading police on a chase and eventually a standoff in Northwest Harris County. Telling the officers like, look at this FaceTime call, move in, move in, move in now. And they sat there and said they got to get everybody ready and they have to put on their like shields and stuff and they have to do all of this extra stuff. Like he wasn't killing her on this FaceTime call. They waited at least 20 minutes to move in. I've been pressing officials about why they waited to move in. And now we've learned there's an internal investigation to look into whether all policies were followed by both the sheriff's office and HPD. The sheriff's office sent us a statement saying in part the investigation will include a thorough review of the timeline, camera footage, dispatch communications and radio traffic. Watson says she's felt failed by law enforcement leading up to her daughter's death. ABC 13 has learned the sheriff's office responded to at least two calls just days before. Once on March 15th for a terroristic threat and again on the 19th for telephone harassment. I told them, I told them over and over and over that, that something was wrong. They could at least try to find him or check it out, but no. Even with his past, they saw it, but they still looked past it like it was nothing. I asked the sheriff's office. Um, first and foremost, rest in peace to that little child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Old, um, so, I know y'all going to hate my, my take on this, but I'm going to go there. You never really know what... um who somebody is, even when you think you know. So, I want to tread lightly on this. But um, I do want to say, ladies, please, I know sex is fun and all that, feel good, but some things are bigger than life. This is bigger than life. Um, Ladies, I know it's so hard to say anything about women on the internet because they be killing you, but like, I do say this with um, I say this in with the with your best interest. I'm not just trying to troll or nothing like that. I'm, I I say this caring for you guys. But ladies, when you laying down before you lay down with a man, please just do your job to really try to get to know this guy. Look look him up on the internet. Ask some people who might know him. Some some associates of his. Just try to find out. The type of person you're getting in bed with, especially if you're having a child with. Because I heard her say that he had like some some past issues and things like that. And of course you want to give people a fair chance and get the get to know them yourself and you know, not judging by that past, but some mistakes are too costly to make. <clears throat> and you never want to put yourself in a position where the worst possible the worst case scenario can be him backtracking to what he was before. And I know that might sound unfair because, like, everybody can change, but some shit just ain't worth it. Men. I really don't have a lot for ladies because I'm not a woman, but men. Rest in peace to this two-year-old daughter. I mean, to this two-year-old girl. Um, and, again, this might, not, this might be an unpopular opinion, but this is just me speaking from my heart. It's hard to take the two-year-old out of it because the two-year-old died. And I, I'm just trying to be as, like, um, emotionally intelligent as possible. But I just want to talk to my men. If we could put this to the side for a second, if that makes sense. Bro, I know it hurt, fellas. You feel me? Like, I know heartbreak hurt. That shit hurt. But, yo, we got to do a better job at loving ourselves, man. Because there's no way in hell you kill a fucking child... Because somebody hurt your feelings, bro. No way. Like, I, I I know it hurt, bro. I know. I know it's pain there. But you got to do what you got to do to get you right. Nobody can get you right but you, my dog. You can't keep giving. We, we as men, can't keep giving our power to other people. And period. Parents, significant other, kid, nobody. But the man upstairs. Like, I ain't trying to get too religious. My mom's always told me, God, Jesus, then yourself. Mm. 
You got to love God, Jesus, then yourself. That's a fact. So it's like, bro, you we keep giving so much power to other people, and that's how we end up in situations like this. You mean to tell me you're going to take your own child life because your significant other or your old significant other hurt your feelings? Grow the fuck up. I'm sorry. Grow up. And we need that sometimes. Sometimes I might need somebody to check me. That's why I looked in the room and said, yo, I don't got no yes man, right? Because I don't want to be around him. It just is what it is, bro. And I know it should be more about the, the child, but I just want to talk to the person first. Because bef we create the child. We, we, that child is a creation of us. So if we ain't right, it's no way, it's no way in hell that life of the child going to be right. We got to do what we got to do to get right with ourselves before we even bring somebody else in our life. And that's not even a kid. Before you bring anybody else in your life, hear what I'm saying. Talk Not heavy. anybody, not creating another life until you bring anybody in your life. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's cliche for a reason because it, because it's true. When it's cliche, it means it's right. It's true. It just is what it is. So I, as cliche as it may sound, bro. I know we ain't perfect, bro. I'm not, listen, I'm not the pot calling the kettle black. That ain't me. I got a lot of shit wrong with me, and I'm working on it for sure. But what I'm telling you is, if you don't listen to this, anything else, listen to this, bro, for real. Fellas, I know that shit hurt, man. You put, you invest so much into a woman. You do so much for her. You love her unconditionally. I know it hurt, bro. Especially when she stepped out on you, and you've been the best man that you could. I know it hurt. But if you ain't right with you, you ain't never going to be right with nobody else. No matter what you do for, you never going to be right with nobody else. That's why when you get right with yourself, when they walk away, you can, you can walk. When they walk away, you can walk away with your head held high like, you know what? That's her loss. Mm. She lost a good one. That's on her. And guess what? I'm still going to be an even better man for the next one. Mm. She fucked up on that one. Mm. But when you don't do the work for yourself, shit like this happens. Now you just broke so many people's hearts, including yours and your family, because that's your family. Bro, what the fuck are you? What the? F this don't even make sense. Like, this child, and, and I don't want to say I understand. As a man, I can... This is going to sound crazy, of course, but I'm talking from my heart. Yeah. I probably can see what he was thinking, not what I'm thinking. Right. He probably trying to hurt the child because it's going to hurt her. We all know the child is closer to the mother because the mother birthed the child. We know that. So what he tried to do was be spiteful because she hurt him. I'm going to make you hurt 10 times more. That's what men do sometimes. It's an unfortunate truth. When I say that's what men do, not kill kids. But they try to hurt the woman Worse so than people they got hurt. hurt people, hurt people. Right, hurt people, hurt people. But that ain't the way. That ain't player. That ain't bro. Player. That ain't gangster, bro. It ain't tough. Let me tell, bro. Listen, man, this is some shit I can talk on. And I tell you, this is what I can talk about, bro. I done been through some shit, bro. And and it might not be that, but I done been through some shit where I fought my way out of it. I done went to seven different elementary schools, two different middle schools. Three different colleges, all for fighting. Mm. And that shit feel good. Yeah, when you let that anger out. But I was hurt. Mm. But you know what feel ten times more better? When I walk away. Niggas ain't going to feel me on this, but I'm going to tell you why. When I walk away, that showed me that I had, I was in control of my emotions, would put me in control of my life. Talk heavy. Because what happens is like when I, was, when I was getting kicked out of school, guess what came behind that? Yeah, I fought and I got that temporary feeling off my chest. But when I got suspended, I was hurt because mm. I knew I knew what I wanted for myself. I wanted to go to school. But now because I defended myself or whatever my excuse was, I got kicked out of school. So I had to deal with that. Mm. The moment I started to walk away was the moment when I was like, damn, look at you, King. Look how far you came. This isn't control of my life because now when I want to retaliate, I'm putting my life in somebody else's hand. Mm. And that's never OK. Mm. What are we doing? Talk heavy, bro. What are we doing? You. You fucking killed a two-year-old little girl. Your daughter. Slowly. Your daughter. Because somebody hurt your feelings. If that ain't the weakest shit ever, bro, we our feelings get hurt. Honestly, I'm still human. I'm still with you. Our feelings get hurt. But it ain't about what you do when you feel good, my nigga. It's about what you do when you down. Mm. That's what makes you a man. That's what makes you a king. Talk.
It ain't about what you're doing when everybody looking. It's about what you're doing when nobody can see you. That's character, nigga. Mm. So when somebody hurts your feelings, I get it. It hurt. But for anybody that's listening to this or might be watching this, walk away one time for me. One time. See how good you feel. I know, I know. If you came from where I came from, and that nigga a bitch, he a pussy, I know. Do it one time for me. I promise it's gonna be a feeling that you never thought you would feel. Bro, I didn't cry, bro. Outside the club, it was times where niggas played with me. I've niggas, my friends don't even know these stories. I've been there. It's been times where niggas played with me and I know that I will beat the shit out these niggas. I left, I walked away and I cried. I mean, real boohoo tears. Real that shit hurt, bro. Facts. But guess what? When I thought about it, my character was still intact. I ain't lose no opportunities. I ain't got strangers looking at me like I would never do business with him. I walked away with my dignity. Mm. I walked away with my morals. And Talk that pride that. that I thought was there, I walked away with that too. Because that shit was just something that was trying to take. That was really the devil trying to take me down. You better talk. That just is stuff. what it is, bro. We we get so caught up in this fantasy bullshit, this fairy tale shit. Because guess what? Now you got other people. If the cops wasn't there, you got other people looking for you. Now, let's just... Okay, since for the tough guys, right? Let's just let's play tough guy. You do that. Now you got people looking for you. Now your life is lost because of something that you didn't even mean to do that you couldn't even control your emotions. Now your family like, damn, I wish you or no, that's too easy. Fuck that. Imagine you getting hurt severely where you're paralyzed from the neck down, you can't move. Now you're a fucking vegetable your entire life. You're miserable. All because you couldn't control your feelings. That's the things that can happen from this shit, bro. Like, everybody don't want to be afraid of death. Nah, that ain't even the worst thing. It's Imagine not. you getting into something, and because of your pride of your ego, you're a vegetable for the rest of your life. Now you got to live having to depend on somebody else. You're in the home because nobody want to take care of you, and the people in the home not treating you good because they're getting, they're getting paid less than minimum wage. They're not getting paid what they think they deserve. And now they're treating you like shit. You're miserable. Now you're, 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 you're wishing, you're praying that somebody will kill you. And they can't because then they would, they would lose their job and they would be arrested. So you got to deal with that. It ain't worth it. Or even worse, you can't even sleep anymore because the last thing you're going to see is your daughter. Mm. There is no rest for that. You got to maintain, you got to wear that. That's you. And whoever don't know, nigga, you know. It's bigger than, it's even deeper than physical per. Like, imagine being spiritually bankrupt. Mm. People lose their mind behind murder. So you took you took a minute, you hurt, and I'm sorry, Jay, because you, you, you finished, finished no, strong. Good, but good, that, dog. as a father to a daughter, I, I even, I can't think about something happening to my daughter. It gets zero dark 30 for niggas. And I'm a very Christ-loving, bring it home, <laughs> nobody die. So for you to do that, I understand that there was a lot, it was something deeper than the surface. And all I can do is say to you, young man, is have mercy on your soul. Because we don't know what you got to deal with moving forward from that. Mm. But God does. Mm. And you do. So when you walk in that yard, please don't think that them COs ain't telling these men what you did. It's niggas that's in jail in cages that can't touch their daughters, mm, mm, can't mm. see them, and you killed yours. Mm. You got to walk with that. But God bless you. It's crazy, bro. Yo, it's just crazy that, like, mm. you never know what somebody going through, man. And it's like, a lot of you niggas ain't even built to have kids. Yo, and, and I know this is another, mm. it's another probably unpopular opinion, bro. But I'm me, bro, and, I, I, and, I, and I'm happy with doing this show. I'm kind of scared because y'all going to see me for who I am. That's a little heavy. <laughs> kind of scared, but I'm going to do it. It is what it is. But um, I want my people to know who I am. You feel yeah. me? I'm tired of just sitting. Nah, you're like, real, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Nah, yeah. so what I was going to say is I still empathize. Yeah. It's so many people like, nah, fuck that nigga. Nah, man, because at the end of the day, that came from a pain mm -hmm. or it came from a trauma that was untreated. Facts. And I don't want nobody to be that hurt that they got to stoop that low. That was deep, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? So oh. it's like everybody be so quick to write somebody off. Like, for me, I feel like people got to learn in extremes. 
that was an extreme for somebody else to learn about. And what I mean by that is, I might not be the one that's going to kill my kid, but I might do something petty to, to hurt my girl feelings. Facts. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It, it come from the, it's not the same thing. It come from the same place. Right. And that's not good. It's not. So if I got a, that might be a reality check for a lot of niggas out there. Yeah. Like, yo, it's, they're saying, what is it called? It's not tit for tat. It's tit for tat, but what is it called? It's not retaliation. It's, it's the word. For, um, if it's not tit for tat, then it's it's tit for, it's a synonym. It's tit for tat retaliation. Let's just use one out of, of spite. It's spiteful. Out of spite. It's spiteful. There you go. So people do these spiteful things because they're they're hurt. Right. Being and that's just an extreme of spite. Yeah. But even on a lower level, it's not good. Facts. And it and it grows. I, so I it agree. grows. So like, if anybody can learn from this, please, because God don't make no mistakes. He did this for a reason. So if you can learn from this, learn from it. Don't judge that, man. Look at it and look at yourself in the mirror and say, damn, when the last time I did something out of spite? Niggas be so Ooh. quick to look at somebody else's story and judge it. Nah, don't judge it. Before you judge it, look at yourself and say, damn, I ain't killing nobody, but when the last time I hurt somebody because they hurt me? That's fine. It's the man. same Let thing. Let this be the hot take. That's it's fine. the same thing. <laughs> Woo. So wow. uh, that's I'm going to just leave that there, man. I um, pray for the family. I pray for him. I pray for the mother. Yeah. Whew. Oh my God! I don't know, man. I I, I do oh, have a question going. for for both of y'all. You know what I mean? And everybody listening is is people who have the capacity to empathize, even in a situation of this magnitude. Mm. How do how are we supposed to feel though when we get news like this? You know what I'm saying? Like how like because the politically correct thing, not even politically, but the morally acceptable thing is to say what you just said, which is I know that's how you really feel. I feel like that's not. But I'm saying morally correct. I feel like I'm saying we acknowledge the issue and mm -hmm. we had our take like nah, like the act, and we smart enough and intelligent enough emotion to say, hey, we don't like the act, bro. Mm. We not approving what you did. We not speaking on you, but we speaking on what you did. Mm. My question is is for people who may not have that level of emotional intelligence to decipher, you know what I'm saying, where to put that anger, how do you feel like people are, how are we supposed to look at this? Because as a Christian man, I feel torn. Mm. A part of me really want to find, bro. Mm. Because, I, you know what I'm saying? But then for me to still say, I'm going to pray for you and God bless you or like God see you through that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is If, if somebody wrong if they only went left with this situation in front of them? Uh, I don't think, I wouldn't say they're wrong. Right? Okay. Right. I don't want to say they're wrong. It's just, for me, I got to learn that people are going to be people. So I can't really have no, I can't have high expectations for anybody. True. Okay. Right? Especially for somebody I don't know. Yeah. So, um, it's really just understanding that it's a crazy world. Facts. And there's crazy people in it. Yeah. So. That's it. Yeah, you feel me? It's just, for I me, guess. I just, I could, because I've been hurt before. Yeah. I understand the place it came from. Facts. Even though it might be extreme, uh, extreme of that. Mm, okay. I don't agree with that. I see what you're saying. But I can look at myself and say, I mean. I can see how I got there. I done did something 10 levels down. It yeah. might, you know what I'm saying? That might be a. A level with a five star on on um Grant that father for my guys that play games. It might be a a level five a five <laughs> star. Play games. <laughs> it might so be a, a five star, yeah. right? But shit, I might do the one star. Facts. You no, know I'm the saying. one star you can run away and yeah. a, and a, and this shit go down the, the star go away. Oh, you learned this from playing the game. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You know the one star, but the five star. Every but the swap. It'd be like it's damn. It's, it's, yeah, at right. that point, we just seeing how long I can, uh, how long I can last Live. until I, <laughs> until I get popped. Yeah, you feel me? Big time. So like that's how I look at it. Like man, I try not to judge other people because like, bro, when you point the finger, you got three, sometimes four pointing back at you. The point de depending on how your thumb sit. Yeah. Cause my thumb bend wow. a little bit, so that's crazy. My shit probably is four points. It just depends. You feel me? So, yeah. um, yeah, man, I just try not to judge people because like. You be surprised, man. God move in mysterious ways. He do. And he you do. get and same thing that make you laugh, make you cry, you judge once, and next thing you know, you're in the same situation looking at it like, damn. How I get here. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a fact. 
crazy. That's words from Jay today. Words yeah, from man. Jay. Sheesh. Man, uh, I'm going to do this, man. We're going to do this. I'm going to drop this every Monday. I'm saying it. Bro, I was so nervous, man. I'm still, I'm still. I can't yeah. tell, boy, the spirit didn't hit you. Bro, man, I'm still like, man, I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to drop this. They about to, what they going to do? in here. I'm like, man, they going to kill me. Man. Nah, you good. Uh, it's you clean. You did your thing, man. Oh, uh, man, I appreciate, hey, I appreciate y'all for real. I mean, like, y'all help me out, man. Yeah. Y'all help me out, man. Sure. Um, shit, we going to leave on a song? I don't even know. I've been playing, yeah, I'm in my vibe, hold up. That's him bumping Drake I mean, hard body. Bro, come on, man. Yeah, I'm really. He a light-skinned, dark-skinned nigga. That's bro, what it is. <laughs> listen, man. This is why I can't. I love Jay. I love the young niggas, bro. Can you pass it on? Just move the mic out the way, man. I got you, oh. bro. I, listen, I love, I love the young niggas, man. But maybe I'm becoming one of them old niggas that's just stuck in my this way. Old, old ass nigga. Yeah, he Damn, old man. Damn, that's what it is. Yeah. And go figure, he is the curator. You know what I'm saying? And playlist master with with all the rappers and now. Yeah, but I don't listen to that. You I just listen, listen to, to like Drake. This. We out, man. J Hill Podcast. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. All that. Mr. Underscore J Hill. M R underscore J A Y H I L L King. Let him know, man. Uh, the real Y King. That's T H E R E A L Y K I N G. You know what I'm saying? And the unsung hero who you might not see his face ever, but he he's the guy that put all this shit together, man. One of the most important pieces to the puzzle, Kyron. Let them know where to follow you at, dog. Follow me at, uh, y'all don't need to know all that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> follow me at C Buck Saint, C B U C K S A I N T. It's a wrap, man. J Hill Podcast, Mr. J Hill, we out. It's a wrap.